Hello, I am Seamus Dunahu, and this is a video about how to evacuate starports that have been shot up by Thargoids in Elite Dangerous. Now, before I begin, I want to admit that I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. Uh, today is the March the 23rd, 2018, and I had thought that this had actually stopped, given that there was a break in Thargoid attacks. But, to my surprise, uh... Just yesterday, a new attack had started. Uh, so in the galaxy map, go to the options, turn on show damaged starports. You can see whether or not any starports uh, have been... Uh, if any starports require evacuation. Here are the starports that have been attacked previously and still need repairs. So in the general case, if you're wondering have any starports been shot up uh, on the update last thir uh, this past Thursday? This is how you check. Uh, let me turn on all my other map options, otherwise I'm going to get myself confused next time I turn on my own map. So, I am currently docked in rescue ship Glaskov Terminal. Uh, I am, for the record, I am using a Python, uh, which, in my opinion, is probably the best ship for trying to evacuate a starport. There are only three ship types that can carry more passengers, the Type 7, the Anaconda, and the Beluga Liner, but they're all large vessels, and I haven't tried navigating any of those inside a damaged starport. There's lots of wreckage inside the docking bay, which you'll see in a moment. Uh, Optional internals, I have a bioweave shield generator in one of my second to largest bays for the Python that's class 5 bay. Everything else is economy class passenger cabins. I don't recommend actually trying to travel to the affected solar system in a fit like this. You'll want to have at least a fuel scoop on there and just buy your uh, passenger cabins in a starport closer to where the action is. I'll do a supplemental video and tack that on to the end of this video uh, as to how to look that up in the general case. Uh, apparently this particular rescue ship, unlike previous rescue ships, does not have economy class passenger cabins for sale in the outfitters. Um, but anyway, those are my internals. One shield generator and the rest passenger cabins. Uh, I also recommend having all heatsink launchers in your utility slots. You, in, If you get this down pat, you're only going to need two heatsinks. But sometimes mistakes and accidents happen. Uh, so let me actually demonstrate this. Launch. Maximum hits to engines. By the way, native English speakers may find that I am perfectly understandable, even if you set the YouTube video player to double speed. You'll find that option in the lower right corner of your YouTube video player. Frameshift drive charging. So yeah, with this setup, I can carry up to 130 passengers at once. Uh, drop to three quarters speed. There. And drop it by the station. Out of my way, out of my way. Commander, this is flight control. This facility is severely compromised. Exercise extreme caution on approach. Copy that, Commander. We've assigned a landing pad for you. Be careful. Pad 18. It's over here. Keep an eye on your heat. you can't do any now anymore since you're close to pad, hit repeat, bit sync. Contact. Glad you made it a one piece, Commander. 
Now, when you first start doing this, you're not going to be at allied with all these factions, so you're going to be a little bit limited. Just grab the missions that you can. Uh, personally, I like to grab the largest groups first, since I have room for them. And I can then shoehorn in smaller groups. Now evacuating groups of 20 people and larger. I just have room for 18. There we go. Have the nav dot above, boots twice. I want to do this and drift. And down there. I did four things at once. I turned flight assist on, charged the FSD, full throttle, boost. Now, if I just logged in and I'm not quite sure of the orientation of the rescue ship, I will do this with the orbit line horizontal. Drop to three quarters speed. Try to loop around underneath because, in practice, I find that works pretty well. All right, not bad. Next time, I might need to tilt the top of my ship over to the left. Typically, you're going to have at least one of these contracts offer a time bonus, so you're going to want to be quick. until the last moment, landing gear, full pit shields, boom. Landing gear deployed. Now I did that one a little rough, usually I only use one more the shields, but that's what the shield generator is for. Decide in advance what rewards you're going to want to get because, again, time bonuses are only about four or five minutes or so. So if you want to take any of the Grade 1 engineering materials, make that decision up front. And then just wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, make sure you restock your heat sinks. Uh, check in on advanced maintenance every so often, but yeah, that's the procedure. Uh, again, I use a Python for this, which I find is uh, the best option, um, in my opinion. It's the largest medium pad ship that can... It's the best medium pad ship that can hold passengers. Although any ship, really, that can... Uh, that, uh, that has at least five in, uh, optional compartment bays, uh, I believe should be viable. You'll also want at least two utility slots. In practice, you're only going to need the fire the heat sink launcher twice if everything goes okay, but sometimes you overshoot your pad, sometimes you get stuck on wreckage, you need a little bit more time, so having the extra heat sinks uh, will help keep your ship from frying while you try to figure out how to correct whatever problem went wrong. Now here's the list of ship types that exist in Elite Dangerous as of today. Again, March the 23rd, 2018. Uh, I'm looking at beta.coriolis.edcd.io. You can click on the Passengers column to sort ships by that. Uh, do be aware that Class 7 and Class 8 passenger cabins do not exist, uh, and thus for that reason... Uh, the Type 7, the Anaconda, and the Beluga liner can't really hold all that many more passengers than the Python can. Um, and also keep in mind this number is idealized. It assumes you're not bringing a shield generator, which in my opinion would be a mistake. Have a shield generator, because you're going to be bumping into things, notably the Atlantic pads. 
Um, in the general case, um, if you if other starports come under attack in the future, you're definitely going to want to use eddb.io slash station uh, to find out uh, whether or not you can buy economy class passenger cabins on site. Again, for the specific case of um, Glaskov Terminal in Arandon, uh, the rescue ship does not sell passenger cabins, so reference system Arandon, uh, you want to look for six echo economy class passenger cabin, fine stations, or whatever the largest class of passenger cabin is that your particular ship can carry. Uh, right click the closest result, open in a new tab, take a look at the outfitting. Uh, it and this particular example here only has the class six, not any of the smaller classes, which was not useful in my case. So Makushi was not a good choice for me. You'll then want to go to the next closest ohm terminal. Uh, outfitting. Again, economy. There you go. It has all the different sizes. Um, everything from class two to class six, and those are all the classes of economy passenger cabins that exist. All right. So in the specific case of Arandon, Ohm Terminal in Tepanic is the option closest to Arandon that sells economy class passenger cabins. So travel fit your ship first, because you're going to want a fuel scoop while you're traveling most of the way. Go to Tepanic, dock up in Ohm Terminal, then go to the outfitters and fit, fill out everything with passenger cabins, other than the one slot for the shield generator. So this is how you would check for the outfitting options in the general case if more starports come under attack in the future. Um, this probably won't happen every week. This is the first time this, hap uh, this has happened since uh, the Thargoids seem to have taken a break two or three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, uh, so if it does come up again, it can be a nice little earner evacuating people from stations that are both falling apart and on fire. Thank you for watching.